Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to fix Red Dead Redemption 2 not launching. So let's start. And for the first method, you should go to the Windows search bar. After that, type in settings. And once this opens, you should go to the left menu and select Windows Update in the bottom. After that, make sure to click on Check for Updates to download and install the latest available updates. Just wait for it to finish. After that, make sure to restart your computer if necessary. For the next method, go to the search. After that, type in Device Manager. Open it. This will pop up. So go to Display Adapters. Open it. After that, go to NVIDIA or AMD graphics card you will find, right click and then select update driver, select search automatically for drivers, after that click close. For the next method, you need to open your launcher, so whatever you have the game on, whether it's Rockstar, Steam, Epic Games, you should open that launcher. After that, go to settings and then you should find your game from the list and select verify integrity under verify game file integrity from the options on the right. For the next method, go to the Windows search bar and in the search box type Windows security and click Windows security from the results. After that, click on the tab virus and threat protection and scroll down to the settings section. After that, click manage settings. Now scroll down and enter the exclusion section. Click add or remove exclusions. Next, click add an exclusion and select file. After that, navigate to the Windows Windows Drive and click on the folder Program Files and then scroll down and click on the folder Rockstar Games. After that, click on the folder Red Dead Redemption 2 and now scroll down and select rdr2.exe. After that, you can run your game safely. The next method open your Rockstar Games launcher and select Settings. After that, under My Installed Games, select Red Dead Redemption 2 and then select Open under View Installation Folder. After that, right click on RDR2 and select Properties. Next, select the tab Compatibility and check the boxes and make sure to run this program as an administrator and make sure to disable full screen optimization then make sure to click on apply and then ok and that's it if you find this video is helpful consider like and the subscribe button and see you on the next one